We have evenly matched all action fights every two weeks with live commentary featuring myself, Paul Malinaji, and Mike Goldberg. This fight is one of those fights. Moreno versus Melendez was outrageous. It was probably a record for the most punches thrown in a Pro Box TV fight. This is what Pro Box TV is all about, evenly matched action fights. Check out this fight between two undefeated warriors. And Melendez! El Revolucion! All right, guys, the rules were told to you in the locker room and in the corner. You know what I expect. Touch gloves if you want to. If not, go back to the corner. Set for our co-main event of the evening. First career eight-rounder for Melendez. Gotta get out of the way, actually. He went the full six rounds back in March of last year here on ProBox TV. Facing off against 18-year-old Emiliano Moreno. Here we go. It's time to fight. Gold and brown trunks for Marino Melendez in the blue trunks. I'm telling you, man, this has the makings of a sneaky good fight. Mexico against Puerto Rico. Yeah, these guys got to jump into this co-main event when Saracho was uh, unable to get a, yeah. a visa in time to uh, cross the border and be here in the co-main event. The big opportunity for these guys, a battle of, of unbeatens. They, I mean, they were going to square off anyway, but now uh, they got to have moved up into the co-main event, so a big opportunity to impress for both uh, Moreno and uh, Salgado. I mean, that's how deep our cards are. If we have a fight fall out, we can move up the next, next available, and we still have a great co-main event. And Moreno coming off an ultra-impressive second-round finish back in November right here on Pro Box TV against previously unbeaten Daniel Lim. Facing his third straight unbeaten opponent. I got also coming off of a pretty good win, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he, he, yeah, he, he, I think he had a win in between, but he fought on our air he, and he beat uh, DeMontes Duncan. Yeah, that was a very, very, very highly uh, Duncan was touted. touted. Very highly touted. Duncan was 8 no. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I remember he was, he was on here too, man. It was a, no, Axel could fight. He's very, very tough. He was impressive that day, or that night. So again, you know, the, again, to reiterate what we bring you on Pro Box, we don't just bring you good records. We have that, because sometimes, oh, good right hand there. But they don't pop too high on the ropes. Salgado catches them with a good right hand. It's not just good records, it's good records that have been battle-tested. Yep. So, well-earned good records. Melendez hit that right hand very well. Did not, no fat on that punch, really, really disguised that shot. Was able to catch Moreno along the ropes. Melendez, as a Puerto Rican, Paulie, he's doing the multiple name thing like the Brazilians. Ma Melendez Axel, Salgado. Melendez Salgado. So which one are we picking tonight, guys? Yeah. I think we used Melendez last time. We did. Well, just for the continuity, we'll yeah. go Melendez. We'll go Axel. I like Axel. Yeah, I call him Axel. I mean, it's, it's, a cool, it's a cool first name. His mama called him Axel. We're going to call him Axel. Yeah. I want to say Axel Foley, but uh, I, hope, Rose. I hope most of our audience knows who Axel Foley is, by the way. Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Moreno, the bigger man, taller, longer. Needs to be careful going straight back, though, especially with that lead hand down. That's why he got caught with that right hand along the ropes before. Little Eddie Murphy throw back in there as well. Yeah, the Guns of Moses throw Yeah, Guns of Moses. Oh, Guns of Moses. Welcome to the Jungle is my favorite song. <laughs> oh, we got exchange here. Change with the trade right hands there. Chiefs can enjoy their celebration. Joe Burrow's going to be healthy next year. Look out, ready. I'm already ready, baby. And Landis was smart there. He didn't load up on that punch. Threw it nice and straight, right behind the jab. Disguised it well. Yeah, when a guy's up, up that high on the ropes, you just got to land the shot. It looks worse. Even if you make it look worse than it is, it's great for the crowd. It's great for the judges. And uh, possibly, probably when I'm around there. But good on him for not getting greedy and trying to load up on a big shot. Melendez always staying prepared. Took this fight on a week's notice. Opponent change, obviously, for Marino. But his upset win of 8 0, Demontes Duncan here on Pro Box TV, was also a fight that Axel took on short notice. Yeah, but I had said when I had heard about this fight, I said, well, if Axel's in shape, you know, he, he's a yep. tough out no matter what. I know Emiliano Moreno is an excellent, excellent fighter and a big prospect, but 
Axel's no easy, yeah. easy out for anyone. Yeah, Moreno's got to get that lead hand working a little bit. A little bit too much waiting, allowing Axel Melendez to uh, get, it, get it to a, a bit of a rhythm. And Moreno's doing a, lot, a little bit of too much waiting. And you want to start to make uh, Melendez uncomfortable. If you don't make him get too comfortable, he's going to start to get into that groove that that uh, makes him uh, very difficult to beat for all these guys he's fought. And actually, Chan Moreno did that in his last fight, too, on our air. He started a little slow, and then he started getting on those body shots. So uh, before we got caught up the break last round, I was going to say, watch out for the body shots from Emiliano. Fantastic with both hands, right and left hooks. Emiliano, trained by his father, started working and sparring with Jose Benavides Jr. at age 12. Yeah, he's throwing all the body shots in there now. Bad intentions. So I gotta try to push him back. No. Trying to show him he's not respecting him. A lot of heat coming from both these guys right now. The Homo Sapien and the Revolution. Combined 15 and 0. Yeah, that's one thing. We've seen Axel in these kinds of fights. He's back and forth. They got guys who are putting pressure. Emiliano, not so much yet. So we're gonna see, see what he's made of tonight. He said. Axel got the nickname because he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe and brings the joy to the fans. Oh, good shot there again from Axel. You know, Moreno's got to stop trying to look for one shot at a time. He's got to get those hands moving. And you see, that's exactly what Axel's doing. Axel understands the, the, the road to winning a fight. Mm. The combination there from Moreno with the left hand, but he's got to find the range and be a bit more busy. I think he might have hurt Axel with a body shot as Axel was trying to create some space for the first time in the fight. Yeah, I think the difference in these two is going to be the power. Emiliano Moreno looks, looks to be very heavy-handed. Bad intentions on all these punches. Well, that right hand, he was thinking it. Actually, it was Moreno who said toe-to-toe, -to -toe, bring joy to the fans. I just think Axel agrees with that concept. And so far, so good. Round two of our co-main event of the evening. Yeah, Moreno's starting to open up a little bit now. That's what you want to see. When he's very dangerous when he gets that offense going. But Axel, again, undaunted. He'll, he'll, he'll. He's, he goes hit for tie with you, man. He's not a, he's not intimidated. Listen for the battle. Listen for the battle. Ah, don't go punch it. Back to Wednesdays on the 28th of this month. Mike Goldman, my powerful partners. The former two-time world champion, the Magic Man, Paulie Malignaggi, former world champion, Chris Algieri. This is our co-main event of the evening. And we got a firefight once again. These guys are going back and forth with big shots, bad intentions, fast hands. Both men are hungry to win. But what else is new? That's what you got yeah. to expect Absolutely. on a Probox TV card. And, and Shane, you mentioned that Moreno probably has a power advantage, but Axel Melendez putting those combinations together, and he gives, puts together some really uncomfortable combinations. He puts you in tough spots. But I'm trying to take away that enthusiasm with his own uh, power punch attack. Yeah, Melendez is oh, actually a really good body shot. Melendez is, um, he's, he's very good at fighting a taller man. He's, he's working up the body, starts low, brings it upstairs, changes up his heights. Like you said, Chad, lets his hands go very well, throws in some tricky punches as well. The shorter of the two, the reach virtually identical. A lot of pressure and body work coming from Moreno, though. Marino, Ooh. just 18 years old. Passed the previous toughest test of his career, the aforementioned win over 10-0 Daniel Lim. This one in round three. Oof, man, these guys are digging. Yeah, these guys are going toe to toe here. The thing with Salgado, he's got to, if you're going to deal with a guy who's so much of a more of a power puncher, you got to make sure he's not getting off as much. It seems like Salgado at times is taking turns. He's throwing maybe more shots and more combinations, but he's allowing uh, Moreno to then get off right after that. He's got to take the initiative to keep Moreno from getting off like that because a guy who throws that hard and, and, and punch hits that sh strongly may be able to hurt you. And this is how you do it. This is how you do it by Salgado changing range like this. Although Moreno gets off there. And Moreno is just so much bigger. Yeah. He's, a, he's a really big welterweight. Oh, those body he shots. He continues to go to the body. Now the right. Answered, though, by Melendez. We steam. got ourselves a fight. Yeah, for sure. Some of the steam coming off those shots from Axel. Those body shots are having an effect. Short notice for the homo sapien, Axel Melendez. Again, though. Body, body over the top. Oh. 
left hand, and now the answer from Marino. Oh, two the Warriors was, going at it. Yeah. The body attack opening up the head attack for Moreno, but Axel undaunted, he's gonna fire back. Guys, this is exactly why we were able to move this fight appropriately into the co-main event spot. Yeah. Oh. And this is why we're your boxing channel. We look for these kind of matchups. The entertainment of the fans at home, we look for these kind of fights consistently. 50-50 fights, good fighters and great fights, and here we are again. Chris Melendez sneaks in that uppercut very well. He's tricky, man. Just 18 years old, his opponent, Axel Melendez, 29 years old. Our co-main event continues. Round number four. And they come out firing again. This is one of those fights that's going to be will versus will. Who's going to break? Who's going to fold? Oh, and then Moreno's got to be careful. Got to back up straight. Salgado got him backing up straight. And here he goes again. He's up high on the ropes again, guys. That's one of the same mistake he made earlier. And he just doesn't have the same power that way either when you're backed up straight like that. Melinda's getting the better of these exchanges. Yeah. Melinda's well, trying to make it a, a battle of attrition. He figures if he can back up the puncher, like you said, champ, he's not going to have the same kind of power. Also, he's smothering Moreno's power here. Moreno throwing hard, but a bit smothered. Good adjustment from, from the Axel Melendez camp. Axel Melendez Salgado. Yeah, backing him up, pushing, putting, using physical pressure yeah. to make the tall man you, tall. He's 29 years old, you know, Moreno's 18 years old, so maybe yeah, the physical strength. strength, man strength, can be the difference in on, on those inside push battles, which will affect uh, the ability to punch stronger for Moreno if he's being backed up. One way to equalize man strength, though, body shots. I fought, I fought as, a, as a kickboxer, oh. I fought much older competition early on. And it was always the body work that leveled the plane. But you gotta be able to find that range. Moreno right now smothering. He's being smothered, he's not gonna get the same kind of power. And he's now starting the space. Yeah, Axel made a good adjustment this round. Yep. Good. Left hook to the liver there from Moreno. The way that he switched his feet and landed a moment ago, going to the kickboxing levels like the switch kick. Yeah, good, 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 good call there, Goldie. Ooh, oh, nice short right hand. Tricky, tricky was, shots on the that inside. That was a switch stance. Yeah. Salgado for the southpaw stance with a little right hook. Man, what, this is awesome, guys. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? Neither guy brought his jab tonight, so. <laughs> you, don't, Paul, you, don't need a, you don't need a jab when you're in a phone booth. Yeah, so. I was going to say, we don't even need the full they skip, they skip to close the range part with the jab and just go right into each other's wheelhouse. These guys could be fighting in a 4x4 four four ring. There's a jab from Moreno. Father Jaime Marino has said about his son, he loves David Benavides. I can see that. Yeah, what Mexican fighter does not? Yeah, but even stylistically. The body shots. Yeah, but even stylistically and body type, yeah. very, very similar. Oh, somebody lost the mouthpiece. There was some blood from the nose of Marino, and then the mouthpiece of Salgado just fell out. And of course, we didn't bring our smocks again from the... Uh, here at ringside. Oh, body shot there. Oh, oh, oh man. Find the space now. I'll tell you what, they both generate so much power from the canvas up. Yeah, very explosive guys, both of them. They let their hands go in combination, and I love me some combination punchers. Another great round here in our co main event. Uh, fans are loving it. Find that space on the inside, trying to create that space, even those little crevices, because they're, they're, it's also a physical battle on the inside, which can't wear you out, champ, you know, that physical pushing back and forth. Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, Axel made that adjustment last round. He we came right at money and was pushing him, but towards the end of the round, ooh, it's just a counter shot. shot. Because you took my turn, trying to come yeah. over the top of the jab. <laughs> uh, Marino made an adjustment as well last round. He started moving his head like we just saw there. He's got good reactions. They both dig deep. Go body, head, on cue. And this is what happens, he got O versus O. Neither guy wants to lose that O, and that's, uh, they're fighting like that, you know? Double hook there by Axel Salgado. 
Good combination in return by Moreno. I'm telling you, I see why people are so excited about Moreno. You know, he's only 18 years old. You know, a lot of young guys who haven't been in tough fights would be folding here, and he's he's not at all. He is looking Melendez down the, the barrel and going right for it. Little warning from the ref. Watch the clash of heads. Oh, nice. Right nice hand landing for Marino. Yeah, we're in the second half of this fight now, round five. We're going to see who's going to be able to separate themselves. Long Beach, California. Mexican descent. The Puerto Rican is 7 0. 29 year old Axel Melendez. Good jab. And Liliano's having a very good round. Very, very sharp. Yeah, he's, he's backing Axel up now. And both guys really squared on the inside, man. So they're, they're, there's a lot of target there for both guys. Oh, so it, it creates a situation where they're both pushing, shoving, fighting. And there's a lot of openings there. And also at this kind of pace, punches. Oh, big right hand from Emiliano. Yeah, that knocked him back, Chris. Yeah, Melendez is starting to wilt just ever so slightly. Yeah, I'm trying to bob and weave and avoid more damage. Menino's made an adjustment. Yeah. He's found the timing. Yeah, it's not trying to smother here. He's, he might have felt the one of those shots. Trying to keep Menino from getting off so much shots. But now Salgado trying to punch back as well. Yeah, but just not as sharp as he was earlier. Yeah. I think a lot of those body shots early on, and then uh, then that right hand that landed a few moments ago, have definitely had an effect on Melendez. Melendez recovered, and now he's throwing. Axel Melendez. Oh, good body shot there by Moreno. I did just watch Beverly Hills Cop a little while ago, and I just think of Oxwell, Oxwell, Oxwell Foley, and 90% of the people are way too young. Great for Marino. Yeah, absolutely. The entire three minutes of every round is fought at this distance. Good shots there from Moreno from that last round, even coming off the ropes. The steam on the punches of Melendez is sort of starting to come off. Let's see if Moreno can take advantage and distance himself a little bit, as this fight's been very, very competitive. Round number six, fourth straight fight, scheduled for eight rounds for the 18-year-old Marino. He has gone the distance in two of his last three. Now, I saw a little change in the body language of Melendez Salgado as he walked back to the corner last round. He had a bad round, Emiliano was really coming on, We'll see if he can capitalize on on that forward momentum he had in the last round here in round six. Yeah, I mean, the fight's hanging in the balance these last three rounds, that's for sure. Short notice for Melendez. And if we hit the seventh, it'll be the first time in Axel's career tonight. The first career fight for 7-0 Axel Melendez, scheduled for eight. Marino, he's, he's mean. He's yeah. bringing it. He is consistent. He's got good conditioning. He throws with bad intentions. He's made adjustments. I'm, in, I'm impressed with this 18-year-old young man. Yeah, this is not an easy fight. No, not at all. He really tests you mentally and physically. Marino has been really up to the task so far. Both these guys have been on our air before. They're both very good fighters. We visited with Joel Diaz earlier who will be in the corner of Ramon Cardenas in our main event. And he said of Ramon that he has anger. He, he fights angry in a good way. And I, I think that's exactly what we're seeing from Marino again. Okay, we were right to be mad the way he took those shots yeah. off, off his face from, from Melendez Salgado. <laughs> 60 seconds on the clock here in the sixth. Gotta be careful though, he opens his mouth like that when he throws those punches. I don't know if Victor Ortiz used to punch like that and got his jaw broke by Lozito Lopez. You gotta be careful, man. Better to bite down on your mouthpiece when, you get, when you're breathing out throwing those punches than it is to open your mouth and yell like that. May not happen today or tomorrow, but it leaves you at risk, especially at a higher level. You notice, Moreno opens his mouth yelling every time he throws the punches. I don't mind the grunting, but just close your mouth. 
See that? Yep. Now I can't miss it, Paulie, now that you brought it up. Yeah, I mean, and, and he's very offensive, but again, I, I just remember Victor Ortiz was like that, and he got his jaw broke. And, and I, I remember that fight, I was at that fight. Staying nice. very busy, high pace from Marino. Marino, yeah, he's starting to wear down Axel more and more. Yeah, I was talking about who was going to separate. It definitely seems like Marino, the consistency, the, ball, the, the aggressiveness, the, the hard, heavy punching, the body shots are really starting to wear on Axel here at the end of round six. And Roger Sportsnet in Canada. Round number seven, first time in the career of Axel Melendez. Emiliano Moreno, 8-0. Melendez, 7-0. Moreno, Golden Brown, and the Blue Trunks for Melendez. Body, body again from Emiliano. Good balance from Moreno. Yeah. And just those hands go in combinations. Very confident when he lets those hands fly. Yeah. Oh, good body Ooh, shot there. Nice. Like there's a return to favor from Moreno. I think well, Moreno, he throws everything hard, so he's got to, I think as he moves up the ladder a little bit, he's going to have to try to learn a little bit of that change of speed just to throw the defense of some, more the, some, some of the opponents he may run into that might be more defensive-minded. Seems like here he's starting to wear down the energy of Melendez Salgado. Which is why every time you say that, Melendez Salgado comes back with a little salvo of his own. Yeah, he's scrappy you know, as hell. But you know, you know what? I'm still here. But it is the first time he's gone seven rounds like Goldie just said. Yep. So at the pace he's gone at, let's see how he how he handles these next two rounds. This pace isn't going to slow down, especially if they stay in this phone booth. I don't think these guys know how to fight any other way. Yeah. And you had mentioned that, really, they left, the, both of them left their jabs in the locker room, so. Yeah. It's gonna go in the phone booth. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think, I don't think the pace is gonna change. When there's no jab, it's gonna be a close range. The big announcement earlier, the acquisition by Pro Box TV, uh, BoxingScene.com. And we are here to continue their greatness and expand and evolve on it. So check out all the exciting news, the updates forthcoming right now we've got a great co-main event yeah axel has slowed down just enough so Moreno has been able to time those movements he's landing some bigger punches at that mid and long range like that and one of those old must go fights and some of it right now axel look at the uh, axel melendez salgado is fading more and more it's like looking more and more like his always going to go in a fight that was competitive for the first three quarters but Moreno seems to start he started to pull away here in the seventh. You know, it is these longer fights, after six rounds, you really start to see a class of a fighter yeah. start to present itself, and, and we're seeing that here tonight. And, but must be said, though, not the first time either of these guys have been on Pro Box TV, and each time they've been here, even against one another tonight, it's been very, very entertaining. Oh, regardless, winner and loser will be back. And both men with victories here on Pro Box TV against unbeaten competitors. Yeah, both were impressive their last time out, and impressive here tonight. I figure why not match them against one another undefeated as well. But why not? Well, that's that's the Pro Box way. We don't protect the records here. Ten seconds. Ooh, I saw that coming from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it Salgado. Yeah. Maybe two days ago because we're on it Friday tonight. Right, I saw that coming on Wednesday. Listen up. We had Lucas Pontes de Silva Pereira. Now we have Axel Melendez Salgado and Emiliano Marino. Three minutes remain. Golden Brown for 8 and 0, 18 year old Marino. The 29 year old is 7 and 0 in the blue. Salgado Melendez is going to need this round here. Try to salvage maybe a draw, maybe even if, he, if, if that. Moreno, if he could close this round, I think would assure himself of the victory 100%. Let's see who was able to pull it off here. Yeah, I would agree, but it looks like to me the, the energy levels on Moreno yeah, was much higher. The momentum is on Moreno's side. And like, like we said, first time uh, Salgado, Melendez Salgado has, uh, has gone eight rounds, and in the seventh round, he had a very, very tough negative first. round, tough yeah. round for him. Yeah, and, and, and Moreno has not changed his speed or output at Not at all. And Melendez coming in on short notice, happy to fight, and fight he has. 
Jeez, if anything, Moreno's even more explosive that's, now. That's the thing, Moreno's oh. will give you those defensive mistakes. He makes up for it in offensive activity. And effort, intensity. Oh, oh good hook there. His father said that he is very he hard on that. split is here. He, he complained about an elbow. Yeah. yeah. That's why he is bleeding. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's interesting. Busted his ear open with, a, with an elbow. But being hard on him makes for easy work. I wouldn't call this easy work. But man, the pace that the revolution has kept up tonight, ultra impressive. Okay. Oh! oh. But Red Devs isn't going anywhere. Well, Manuel comes right back. How else could this fight end? Yeah. The way these guys have been going all night long. From the opening bell, no feeling out. Right to work. Aye. Big shots from both guys. What a spectacular fight. Awesome, awesome trying to fight. do a good job of smothering him right now here. 60 seconds. 12 rounds of action in an eight round fight. <laughs> you got that right. That oh, body shot right right him. Yep. The body and then the right hook. No. Man, Axel Melendez is tough. He just took some big shots. And still waving Moreno in. Oh, heavy, heavy hands. We can hear these ringside. 30 seconds. Combination from Melendez. Both men leaving it all on the line. Since the opening bell. Right. Tremendous back and forth all night long. Oh. Fight for eight rounds, guys. I mean, this is at a high pace. Yeah, this is a pro box TV gives you. Over, oh, somebody else gonna go. Somebody's always gonna go. Gonna go in a few seconds. What a great eight fast and furious, hard fought rounds of boxing action brings us to the judge's decision. Judge Shami Shipman scores the bout 78 to 74. Judges Efren LeBron and Tito Wilgo score the bout 77 to 75. For your new unanimous decision victor, Emiliano La Revolucion Moreno. How was that, huh? Now that's what makes ProBox TV's Wednesday night fight series a must watch. Every other Wednesday, evenly matched all action fights on any device. Don't miss our next live event, Wednesday, February 28th, right here on YouTube for more nonstop action. See you guys there.